Hello YouTube, KT here on a Saturday. Uh, it's like we missed uh, we missed the storms. They're coming this way, but they're going to be to the west of us. But could have used a little. We got a little bit of a shower earlier. Could have used the rain, but oh well. Um, checking in with uh, a video. I know that I had talked to you guys. You'd sent shown you some videos recently of. Uh, shape that my fenders were in and uh, I finally splurged and ordered I didn't order anything actually um, this is a Craigslist find I'm uh, just north of uh, Austin and this guy was in Fort Worth and he drove south about 30 minutes and I drove north about two and a half hours <laughs> actually it wasn't that long because we stopped for lunch but anyhow uh, drove north about two hours and met him uh, so I had a little uh, turn and burn today and went and picked me up a fender. Um, this is a DII. Uh, here's my old one, obviously. Now I've gone through all this one. The issues I had on the bottom here and then straightening out some dents here. Uh, all the mess up here. Had my hands, uh, definitely had my work cut out for me on this one. And then, again, the work on the top here where the rust is. And uh, completely eaten all the way through. So this is the uh, driver's side, fortunately. Got it on Craigslist. Um, found a couple. Got it purchased outright from Dynacorn through all the, on the internet. Um, it would have been about uh, two, two, I think I found it for 265 without freight. But anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a comparison. Uh, right up there, amongst all that mess, that right there is my refrigerant scale that I use to weigh refrigerant uh, free on whenever I'm working on systems anyhow um, I'm gonna use that it measures down to the half ounce and I'm gonna weigh my old fender you know considering that I've uh, lost some down here and uh, you know the rust and so on and so forth all the paint sanding off of it and I'm gonna do a weight comparison for that one and the new one and see what the weight differences are if it's a uh, the thickness of metal is definitely uh, a difference and then I'm gonna look at things like um, where the uh, br uh, frame brace uh, uh, goes up in here. Uh, this fender did come with one. It's all molded in. And I'll do a comparison to the spot welds up here where the uh, corner trim goes. And then also I'll do a comparison in the corners in the front where the um, where the header and the, and the hood meet. So I'll get this opened up and uh, check back in with you in just a second. He sold the car. He kept this behind and said he figured he'd make some money off of one of the days. And sure enough, he made 150 bucks off of me on it. So um, it's an older package, but uh, you know, the cardboard looks like it's an older package. I didn't find a date or anything on it, but it's in a good shape. It's got a little dimple here, um, but overall, it's been fairly taken care of. It's probably been in and out of garages and trucks, backup trucks and stuff like that. Got a little thing in right here, not a big deal. Um, but the major contours on it are okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it on the, get it on the scale and uh, check back in with you guys and let you know how much it weighs and we'll see what the difference is. Stand by. Okay, I weighed the, uh, I weighed the two. <clears throat> and um, the uh, new fender weighs 26 pounds, 6 ounces. The old fender weighs 26 pounds, 8 ounces. And it's missing a little metal up here on the corner, obviously, where this frame, where the uh, brace is rusted out and this metal is rusted out here. Um, you know, that might be 4 ounces worth of, uh, worth of metal. 
that's missing over there. Um, and it's also, you know, it's lost some of its metal up in the front over here. Uh, so um, about probably maybe six or eight ounces uh, difference between the two, which I don't think is substantial. If the new fender was like two pounds lighter, then I would know, holy crap, this is some really thin stuff. But uh, I'm going to get my metal gauge from my MIG welder and check the metal gauge on it. And then next, I'm going to check the uh, connecting points to see how the, uh, the uh, firewall connector here and then the fender connector, the, uh, sorry, the A-pillar connector here and then the uh, header connector in the front for each one of these and then also look at the quality of the welds and stuff. And then I'm going to do some close-up on the fender. That's one of the things that I noticed that I had been looking for uh, as far as, you know, other, <clears throat> other videos on YouTube just to see somebody pull this out, pull their metal out of the box and find out what kind of, you know, quality differences there are or whatever. Um, so I'm going to give them both a, a, both a look them over and measure some what I would consider critical points and then uh, check back in with you and show you uh, the disparities between the two. So stand by for more. Okay, um, <clears throat> well, I measured it out and most all the holes, everything line up. Uh, interestingly enough though, when I measured the uh, hinge bolts here and here, I was on I believe a nine and three quarter inch center to center measurement with the original fender and this new one is actually nine and five eighths so it's an eighth of an inch off um, I don't think that's going to be a problem with the hinges but we'll find out when I get ready to uh, when I get to that point um, this bracket here which is the firewall connector bracket um, is uh, not really square that could be because of shipping that looks like a, a vulnerable point um, sorry about the zoom that looks like a vulnerable point as far as shipping goes you know the fact that this thing's been moved around a lot and then the same thing with the uh, with the A-pillar connector down, he down here the it's actually bent like bent down at an angle like that um, as compared to uh, this one here this one is more oh look a June bug son of a bitch um, Let's see what else. Uh, other than that, you know, dimensionally everything looks okay. There's that little ding from the inside that I found on that one. Not a big deal. I'll be able to straighten that out. No problem with the little hammer and dolly work. Uh, the holes punched for the uh, washer reservoir, wisher washer reservoir, uh, are uh, in the same locations roughly. Um, this fender does have the inner, inner brace right here. Uh, the new one does just like the old one uh, you can barely see it it's all rusty can barely see it um, let's see what else this one has the uh, hole punched for um, for the third bolt uh, or the uh, stud for the uh, for the side marker indicator and this one does not have a hole so I'll have to uh, have to drill that out um, everything else looked okay. The, we have the proper number of bolt holes going across the uh, top for the inner fender for the fender well, uh, the inner fender well. Uh, what else did I notice? Oh, um, I, I, that's pretty much it. In terms of quality, uh, you know, when it comes to manufacturing, there's definitely a difference. Uh, you, know, you really can't tell because this thing is so old. Um, but uh, if you look across here, this 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 metal when it was stamped out, they really, you know, it's nice and flat. There's some shrinkage right here that they really covered up pretty well. That looks nice. You know, we've got this curvature like this. They had to shrink it up a little bit, um, and then uh, you know wrap this around here. So this all looks really really nice and 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 smooth. Uh, the other one, the new the new one here, uh, you can see. It looks like a looks like a tin can. It's all, you know. They didn't do a real good job shrinking it. Uh, they tried they tried to make the same contour here and just didn't do a very good job. And then also this corner up in the front um, didn't come out real well in terms of uh, you know how it looks. I'm gonna measure from this bolt. This is a this is the two bolts that hold the header in. I'm gonna measure from here to the point. Do the same thing on the other fender. I think this sticks out a little bit farther, so that might be some issues when I get ready to line up my header. Don't know yet, but uh, you can see where it, it really, I mean, you, it, it's, it's obvious 
that uh, that they had some kind of issues or whatever right here because on the old fender it's nice and smooth and this one it's really it's really rigid it's like an aluminum can and then on the old one looking at it here it's nice and smooth um, got the uh, little mines completely rusted out so I can't do a comparison there uh, I just felt this look kind of cheesy of course at least it's got one <laughs> but anyhow uh, overall I guess I'm pretty satisfied with it uh, I'm gonna throw it on there you know like I, I just had uh, both the fenders kind of stuck on there holding everything together um, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back on and relegate this one to the backyard for now not sure what I'm gonna do with it it's not really salvageable I don't think you all saw what kind of shape it was in the things just been abused and used up and it's all beat up in the front oh and the nice thing too is with the new fender I've got the contour right here that uh, I can cut a template off of and uh, you know check to see the the surface levels if it's if it's flat across the front and then I'll be able to uh, flip that template over and make sure that I, if I start working on this one I try to guess what this one cleaned up then I'll get the uh, I'll get the contour right on that as far as you know how it wraps around that corner so anyhow um, just wanted to check in with you guys and show you my new Craigslist find and say that I finally splurged them did realize that I was going to be spending a lot of time on uh, body work on on these things if, uh, if I tried to do it myself so uh, driver side down um, I literally have been looking for probably two months to try to find this uh, fender um, save myself about I guess maybe between by the time we get done with shipping and everything probably about a hundred and fit well probably about a hundred bucks because uh, I spent fifty dollars in gas to get there and back it was a 280 mile round trip three almost 300 mile round trip June bug anyhow um, I will uh, check in with you guys again take care and we'll be checking in with you soon adios okay what I think uh, one more um, what I think might be a little bit of a, a miss maybe substantial or not um, these are my hinge bolts and I was taking the uh, bolts out of the out of this fender here and putting them in the other one put them in the new one well when I took those hinge bolts out and tried to put them in the uh, in the new fender the uh, the holes sorry about the low light but it's dark out here the uh, the holes are smaller the threads these are probably these are probably quarter five sixteenths threads um, where well, maybe these might be quarter inch well, it might be quarter inch threads and these are five sixteenths I don't think these are full three eighths inch threads let me see um, yeah those might be three inch threads anyhow the threads uh, the threads on the on the fender the new fender are one size smaller than the threads on the old fender so my hinge bolts aren't going to work um, yeah those are three eighths so that means the uh, threads on the new fender are five sixteenths so let's use some smaller bolts um, I don't think I'm going to go to the trouble of tapping it out because from what I could tell these look a little more meaty these capture nuts here whatever these blind nuts or whatever these are called um, these look a little more meaty than what's on the new one when I took this off and looked at the way this was set in there versus the other ones um, this is a much more substantial connection point. Anyhow, uh, that's it. Adios.